what's this that I have here? It's a piece of junk that I made to get an easy A in a class. You know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna stick a weapon on it. My fellow humans, you may be asking, what was this robot designed for anyways? It was designed for a Rick and Morty themed competition. You could push balls, tilt a ship, go up the elevator, do the car doors. You know what I made my robot do? Kill itself. Now that it's summer and I have nothing better to do with my time, I'm gonna apply myself and stick a weapon on this robot. If I wanna make a weapon, I wanna store a bunch of energy in something. And what's the best way to store a bunch of energy in something? By spinning it. Kinetic energy equals one half I omega squared. This also equals one half mv squared. But you see, it's a lot easier to increase omega with a motor than it is to increase v with a motor. So that's what I'm gonna do. How am I gonna make something spin super duper fast though? I'm gonna harness the power of this little guy right here. All right, so I have all these electronics. Let's go ahead and plug the motor into the electronic speed controller. The electronic speed controller into the receiver. And then the electronic speed controller into the battery. Turn on the controller. Ah, it's going. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh my god. There we go. Now all I've got to do is rip off every part I don't like and change it until it fits into my perception of what is acceptable. This is what I've got as my mess of parts. Let's uh let's let's see if this drives. Cool! This is all we have right now. Uh, hold on, it's missing something. There we go. Can't forget about a healthy amount of duct tape now, can we? Okay, so we have it driving now, but that's not really cool, is it? Doesn't hit anything. Let's let's see what we can do with this. You might have noticed that it's dark out. That's because it's midnight. I've been here for a couple hours. This is what I have to show for it. Um, it's a very well engineered robot, as you can tell, because uh, I'm good at engineering. That's how it works. I spin the motor, have this 3D printed part, have this other 3D printed part, the belt, spins it really fast. Yep, yes sir. Now you may be asking, where did I get all these parts? Well, I'm here to tell you that I, uh, I cheated. I'm in a room that has a lot of combat robot stuff. I just ripped one off my old robot and slapped it on this guy. Yep. Got a little bit of professional electronic engineering here. It's because if I didn't do that, it would hit the servo. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Let's take it outside for a spin. When I said that I was gonna test outside, I actually meant I'm gonna test in this box. I am deathly afraid of my creation. Alright, so the issue was that just the belt fell off and that's because this pulley uh, got snapped or something. Uh, I'm not really too sure, but uh, put it on again. Let's, let's, run this, let's run this thing again, I guess. Uh, what just happened? I think the wires might have gotten tangled, but that's an easy fix. I ripped off the wires, so uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Like, oh my god. Alright, so I figured out why it wasn't working. It's because this little pulley right here, it uh, it broke. and also won't stay on because I didn't put screws in because they didn't fit and I was lazy. So, 
My solution is super glue. Gonna put some super glue on. Okay, I think I've given the super glue ample time to dry. Uh, let's, let's, oh my god, I'm still terrified. Stop. Why am I stuck? happened again, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it this time. So damage report, it did a little bit of damage to these little plastic parts. Um, that's cool. Hit this, a little bit of damage there. But, you know, true to its beginnings, it, it killed itself again. It just destroyed its own weapon pulley. It just wasn't having it, I guess. It also destroyed one of its uh, wheels. I, that's that's cool. Oh, actually, it destroyed both of them. At the end of the day, I did what I set out to do. Made a robot that has a weapon on it. It's now 2 a.m. Uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. Three, two, one, go. Looks like multiplier first. 1.2. And oh wow, there's a, like some kind of lifting mechanism. The sliding, oh, telescoping. There must be some kind of rack and pinion. 1.8 already. And uh, a little more. Oh, got two, I got two. Got two, you can back to work. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Drive forward, drive forward. Yo! The, the, oh, there you go. Survive, survive, survive. Woo. And, oh wow, has a multiple digger freedom. Now we need a ruler. Uh, you might have to measure. Hopefully we don't need to measure real time. <laughs> Judges, please estimate based on. It looks like at least two. Roughly two, not quite two. Two, yeah, yeah, you got three, you got, you got more than two. Eight, yeah, you got, it's the third level. Whoa, two, one, time's up. He just passed here, right? Yeah, 35, yeah, yeah. Good job. Is this a rack and pinion, I guess? Uh, this is using a lead screw. Oh, lead screw. It's kind of slow, but it's, also, here. it's also very strong. It's kind of fun to design around too. Yeah, um, this is hard to control, but you did a good job. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of degrees of freedom. I, I wanted to build a robot that's uh, primarily fun to control, so four-wheel drive and a fun to control arm was my idea. Good job, and nicely spray painted, I guess. Oh, I powder coated this. Oh, you powder coated. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you so much. Good job, Tom. Thank you so much. <laughs> Switch broke off. <laughs>